Hey there, Math Hoppers. In this video lesson, we're going to do one more example of long division. So what we're going to do is take this number, 2,625, and divide it by 32. And even though we're going to get a remainder, we are going to check our answer. So what this problem is saying is how many times does this number right out here, the divisor, how many times does 32 go into 2,625? Well, guess what? 2,625 is a huge number. So I don't know how many times it goes in, and neither should you. So we're going to baby step it. You're first going to say, take the first digit in 2,625. How many times does 32 go into 2? Well, 32 can't go into 2. It's bigger than 2. It can't go into it. So we're going to ignore the 2, and we're going to take the first two digits. So we're going to say, how many times does 32 go into 26, the 2 and the 6 put together? So it goes into 26. Well, it can't go into 26. It's bigger than 26. You can't go into something you're bigger than. And unfortunately, that means we have to figure out how many times 32 goes into 262. All right. When you start with this, when you have a bigger number, like a three-digit number, you're trying to figure out how many times something like 32 goes into it, you want to say to yourself, well, 32 times 3, because I know 30 times 3 is 90, so 32. 2 times 3 is 96, so that's almost 100. So then th times 3 is almost 100, times 6 is going to be almost 200, and I have 62 more. So I'm going to try 32 times 8, and I might have to do two multiplications here, but that's going to be okay. So 32 times 8, let's see how many times it goes in. Remember, when I say how many times 32 goes into 262 without going over, I want to know how many times it goes in. If it goes in perfectly, that's great. But if it doesn't, how many times without going over? So 8 times 2 is 16, so we're going to carry our 1. 8 times 3 is 24, plus the 1 we carried is 25. Therefore, 256. I'm going to stick with 256, and here's why. I'm trying to go into 262. If I add 32 to 256, I'm going to be over 262. It's only 6 more away. So I know that 32 goes into 262 eight times without going over. So I'm going to put my 8 right up here. And I put it over the 2 because I went into 262. Since I went into 262 and 2 is the last digit in that number, that's where I put my how many times it went in. That's where I put my answer. I put it over that number. Okay, now I'm going to change my colors so you can see the difference here. And so what I want to do is I want to now know what's left over. I didn't go into 262 all the way. So I'm going to take 8 times 32, which I already know the answer to. And I'm going to put that answer right here, see, 256. I'm going to put that under here and subtract it to see how much I have left over. So 256 under the 262, and we already know that it's 6. Okay, well, 32 doesn't go into 6. That's fine because I have to bring down the last digit in the number, which is 5. Now I have accounted for every single digit in this number. I first went into 262, I had 6 left over, and then I brought down my 5, so I've gone into every single digit, or I'm about to go into every digit in 2,625. So now I want to know how many times, maybe let me get my pointer here so I don't make a mess of my screen. I want to know how many times 32 goes into 65, again without going over. This one's a little easier to do because we know 32, if we just double it, we get 64. So we know that 32 times 2, and you probably don't have to write this out, but in case 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 32 times 2 is 64. So it's going to go into 65 two times, okay? So we're going to put my 64 down here because remember, we didn't go in all the way. So we're going to subtract. From the 65, we get one left over. One is our remainder, right? So technically, our answer is 82 remainder one, right? 82 remainder one. If your teacher lets you write your answer like this, you're done. If he or she doesn't, you have to write it as a fraction. So you're going to say one, one's left over one out of what? One out of 32. Okay, so now we could check this, right? We could do a check of this. Let me uh, change colors once again. Let's make it green. Okay. If I wanted to check this, put my little check mark right there, and I'd say, all right, all I have to do is turn this into an improper fraction, right? So I'm going to say 82 and 1 over 32. To make this an improper fraction, I multiply 32 times 82 
and add my one and put all of that over 32. All right, I'm gonna get the calculator to tell you what 82 times 32 is. And 82 times 32 is 2,624. And then I want plus one and then all over my original denominator, which was 32. Okay, so great. That equals 2,625 over 32. Perfect, that's my answer. Now I know you're saying, wait a minute, that's not your answer. How do you know that checked out? Well, because when we started this problem, we had a division problem, right? We had 2,625 divided by 32. That's exactly what this says. 2,625, this fraction bar means divided by 32. So our answer does check. And that is how you do long division. And when you have a remainder, it might be a little weird to check your answer, but when you have a remainder, checking your answer just means make it an improper fraction. And that's it, guys. Until next time, take it easy.